Hello, welcome to Saturday's edition of Cracking Cryptic. We're going to take a look at the deadly killer Sudoku from the Times today. So I'm uh, just loading it up now. Just a reminder that if you enjoy the videos, please do um, like them, subscribe to them, comment on them. Uh, anything that um, uh, develops interest in the channel, we're really appreciative of. Oops, I'm going to have to resize this box. Hang on a moment. Okay, so now that should be uh, appearing uh, better on the screens. So I'm just going to fill in some of the um, sort of given combinations. This seven in three cells can only be a one, two, and a four. Uh, let's just see if there's anything else yet. It's 23, that's six, eight, nine. And anything else? No, I'm not seeing any, any other sort of given combinations there. Oh, there. I suppose this 30, this 30 here and 4 can only be 6, 7, 8, 9, so we should probably write that, that in as well. Um, okay. Well, actually, there's a, there is one more. There's a 15 in 5 here. Now, those of you who like doing Kakura will, will know that 15 and 5 can actually only be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So I wouldn't normally write this in, but given it's all in the same box as well, I think we should. That means we've got 6, 7, 8, 9 here and 6, 7, 8, 9 here. Okay. Now, you can see there's a relationship here between the 7s that we have here and this 15 box. 1, 2 and 4 are ruled out in these two positions. So in fact, these two positions become 3 and 5, which means we can remove 3 and 5 from all the other places in the box like this. And now when we look up this, this column, we're only looking for uh, 6, 7, 8, and 9 to place again. So let's just write those in and see what that looks like. Um, but this bottom box here is a little bit restricted. Now, why do I say that? Well, because in this 3x3 three three box in the bottom right hand corner we know this whole box will add to 45 and we already have a 27 and an 8 entirely contained within this 3x3 three three box so these two sum to 35 so we know we know these three digits here have to sum to 10 in order to make the whole box add to 45 now clearly if this is a 9 that's not possible Indeed, if this is an 8, that's not possible either. You couldn't have two 1s in this position, so we can remove 8. Now, 7 is possible. If this was a 7, this could be a 1 and a, or a 2, and this could be a 1 or a 2, and that would give us the 3 we need. But if this is a 6, these two digits would have to be 1 and 3, which they can't be. So this isn't a 6 either. So in fact, this digit here is a 7. What's more... These two digits are 1 and 2, so we can remove the 4 from them, which means that this, in fact, is the 4 here, uh, like that. Now, what more can we say? Well, we've now got a 1 and a 2 in this box, and we need to put an 8 in. Well, that, this 8 can only be 3 and 5 now. It's the only combination that will work. And, therefore, this 27 is 4, 6, 8, 9 in some order. Let's write it down just for the sake of it. And what we could do here, I'm not sure whether it would work or not, but we could, you can see now, we've isolated the value of these two cells. We know these two cells sum to 10. Now that means that we can actually isolate the value of these five cells along this row. And the reason we can do that is that these five cells are the only cells that stick out from these two boxes here. Now we know these two boxes here that I'm sort of outlining with the cursor. These two boxes sum to 90. So if we sum all of the boxes here that are included within, within these two three by three cells, including the 30, the 19, and the 13, we'll find a big total uh, that when we subtract 90 from it will give us the value of these five cells. Now, that might not be worth 
doing, but sometimes these totals can be revealing. So let's just have a look. So we've got 10 here, plus 9 is 19, plus 30 is 49, uh, that's 66, 73, 93, 112, 125. Okay, 125 minus 90 is 35. So we know that these five cells here sum to 35. Is that interesting? Well, it actually is interesting because again, we've got sort of a Kukuru thing going on here. 35 in five cells can only be made up one way and that's with all of the numbers, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, like that, which means we already have a four in this row, that the other three numbers have to be one, two, and three, like this. That's absolutely forced. This can't be a three because of the three already in the column. Ah, now that's interesting as well. We now have a one and a two here, and a one, two, four, one, two, four. So now again, we've got this can't be a four. And the only other numbers in this column have to be 6, 7, 8, 9 again. <laughs> and then we've got a similar thing going on here. We've now got 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9 here, and 6, 7, 8, 9. So we've got four uh, numbers and four unknowns in these four cells. So again, now we know that those numbers are completely taken within this 3x3 three three box, and the only other numbers that are possible. 1, 2, 3, and 5 for the remaining cells. So we might as well put that in just to see if that tells us anything new. Uh, that doesn't tell us a great deal more. You can see that the, there needs to be a 4 in this 27 cage here, and we know that 4 is in these central 3 cells. Therefore, this cell here can't be a 4, so we should remove it. And uh, I can remove the seven from these two positions. And just noticing now, we've, we've I managed to isolate the value of these three cells to be seven. We know they're one, two, and four in some order. And if we look at the final two columns of the grid now, um, that means we can isolate the value of this cell. Pause the video if you need to to understand what I mean there. But I'll explain it now. But it's worth pausing just just to prove it yourself. Um, the reason I think we can isolate the value of this cell is that we know that the last two columns of the grid will contain all of the numbers from 1 to 9 twice each. There'll be 1 to 9 in this column and 1 to 9 in this column. Therefore, we know these final two columns will sum to 90. Now, you can see here we've got 7 in these three cells, plus 15 is 22, plus 24 is 46, and what else have we got? So 46. 73 plus 8 is 81. So we know that this cell here has to be a 9 in order to ensure that these two columns sum to the right number. Can move a 9 from these two positions and we can scan down here and move the 9s all over the place. In particular, you can now see that this cell here has to be a 9. And this cell here has to be a 7. And that's useful as well because we now know these two cells um, have to sum to 8. And we also know that they one of the digits will be a 5. So in fact, it's a 3 and a 5 combination. So we can remove the 1 and the 2 here. So we have the 3 here. Now that's useful over here. This 8 now is forced to contain a 3 which means the other two digits have to be 1 and 4 in some order, like that. Can we move the 7 from this position? And I guess there's a relationship as well between this digit here and this digit here. Why do I say that? Well, again, it's, it's using this principle of 45. I know that this box adds to 45, so ima let's imagine this is a 6. If this is a 6, plus 21 is 27, plus 6 is 33, these two cells would have to sum to 12. 
and therefore this cell here would be a 4. Similarly, if this was an 8, uh, we've got 8, 29, 35, these two sums are 10, this would have to be 6. Aha! Now, if this was an 8, this cell would be a 6, and so would this cell. So that is not possible. This therefore has to be a 4, this has to be a 6, and this has to be an 8, which is, um, that's going to be, I think, quite useful. Move the 8s from down here. That's useful. So this is 6 and 9, therefore this has to be a 7 in this 22 box. Let's remove the 7 from here. This has to be a 6. So we've now in this 24 cage, we've got a 6 and a 1 and a 2, so that's 9. So these two cells have to sum to 15. So if this is a 9, you can see that's just not possible. So this is going to have to be an 8, and this is going to have to be a 7. And one of the techniques I like using at times like this is, you know, if I look along this 35, sum that we worked out earlier, I can see that in these two positions I've got neither a 5 nor a 7. Yeah, So I know that there's a 5 and a 7 in this, this three cells here. Now I just like testing it because if the 5 and the 7 were both in these positions, 5 and 7 here, you can see they would sum to 12 and this cell would have to be a 7 again. That's impossible, you can't have a repeated digit in a cage. So I know one of the five or seven has to be in this position, which allows me to actually remove three possibilities here. This is either going to be a six or an eight. Um, in this instance, doesn't quite resolve, but in other cases, it could easily have resolved itself. So that's just something I think is 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 worth noting in this sort of situation. In fact, we can use this 4 here. There can't be a 4 here, therefore the only place left for a 4 in this box is here. And then I think probably what we should do is to take a look at this central box here. Um, and you can see that depending on the limited values of what this 30, this, these two cells in the 30 box could, can contain, we'd be able to isolate the value of this cell here. So let's just think about how to do that. So if these two were 8 and 9, for example, that would be 17, plus 7 and 3 is 27, plus 5 is 32. So these would be 13, and this would have to be a 6. But that's interesting in and of itself, because remember, if I'm making these 8 and 9, then the 6 in the central 3x3 three three box has to appear in these three cells. So this can't also be a 6. So in fact, this cannot therefore be 8 and 9. So now let's consider 6 and 9. If these two are 6 and 9, it would be 15 plus 8 is 23, plus 7 is 30. These three cells here would have to sum to 15. Therefore, this would have to be a 4. Well, that's impossible. If this is a 4, there's already a 4 in this central row. So, in fact, this cannot be 6 and 9. So, we've already worked out, therefore, because it can't be 8 and 9, it can't be 6 and 9, it's going to have to be 6 and 8. So, I'm really hoping that that's actually going to work out in terms of the maths. So, move 6 and 8 here, move 6 and 8 here. You can see this is going to have to be a 7. This is going to have to be a 9. But let's just prove to ourselves that this works. So 14 plus 8 is 22, plus 7 is 29. So these three cells here are going to sum to 16, and this is going to have to be a 3. And I can't see any reason why this can't be a 3. So let's put that in. That means this is going to be a 3. This is going to be a 5. OK, can we move 6 and 8 from over here? That. So there's going to have to be, uh, what's this, 259 in this, 2, 2, 5, 
nine two nine like that. Remember, we already decided this these two combination here couldn't be five and seven. So we're either, this is either going to be five and nine, in which case this is going to be a four, uh, or it's going to be nine and seven, in which case this is going to be a three. I don't think either of those resolves itself. And probably the final stage to resolve the puzzle now is to notice that these three cells here we know are five, seven, and nine in some order. So we know these three cells sum to twenty-one. And we know that they're part of two cages that themselves sum to 32. So we know these two cells here need to sum to 11. Now, I think there's only one way that's possible. That has to be an 8 and this has to be a 3. And you can see how that's really going to open up the puzzle for us because now we can, we can do that, uh, which is going to really help us. Uh, you can see that now by simple Sudoku logic there's only one place that an 8 can go in this box here. And that's uh, here, like that. Which allows us to place pencil marked 8s in those two positions there. And then you can do an, another sort of neat summation trick on this 18 box. So We've got an 8 in this box already, so we know these three cells need to sum to 10. Now there are only limited ways that cells can sum to 10 in three digits. One would be 712, that's probably the most obvious. You can see that's ruled out because we already have a 7 here, a 7 here, and a 7 here. The next way would be 613. Well, that's still possible, I think. If this was the 3, that would work. And the other way would be... Um, including 5, obviously, we could have any either of 5, 2, 3 or 5, 1, 4, but both are ruled out by this 5 here. That really restricts this box. We know that this box here has to contain the numbers 6, 1 and 3. Therefore, we know this digit here has to be a 3. And uh, there's a 1 here, so this is going to have to be a 1. This is going to have to be a 6. And there you go. I mean, I think the puzzle now will... Um, is, is basically solved. We have enough numbers in it that it won't resist for long. You can see lots of things are starting to, to flow. This six box now can only be two and four, which means in fact that has to be a two, this has to be a four. Similarly by Sudoku logic again, there's only one place we can place a four now in this box. That's here. Fours down here. This cell has to be two. And again, you can see now we, because we put these pencil marked eights in here to remind ourselves an eight needed to appear in this twenty cage. We now have a two, a four, and an eight in this cage. So that's fourteen of the uh, number numbers already taken up and we've got two digits left which need to add up to six. Well the only way that's possible given we already have a two and a four in the box is with a one and a five. So and in fact look there's a five here. So this is going to have to be a five, this is going to have to be an eight and this is going to have to be a one uh, in order to make that work. Um, okay, I don't think we can quite go further than that yet. Oh yeah, we can because look, we've got a six here and a six here. So in fact, this has to be this has to be a six. And now you can see this seven is forced in the sense that it can't be a two or a five because we already have a two and a five in the column. And it can't be a three or a four because we already have a three here. So this this must be a one or a six variation of the seven in two cells like that, which means this is a four and this is a two and this is a one. Now this cell here has to be a 5, it's the only thing left it can be, therefore this is a 4, this is a 4. And you can see, I mean the puzzle is now uh, solved, I'll do the rest of it to music, I hope this has been uh, useful. Um, it's enjoyable to do the Deadly Killer Sudoku, it's probably the hardest killer Sudoku that appears in the broadsheet press in the UK. Um, 
we'll take another look at um, a puzzle from uh, gmpuzzles.com though in in due course they are they are I suppose I in my opinion they are the best killer Sudoku's available on the internet um, they're very difficult and very interesting so we'll do one of those again soon um, thanks for watching we'll see you again next time I'm cracking the cryptic